according to a lot of sources this evening, Kentucky, Kentucky's athletic director, Mitch Barnhart, has selected Mark Pope as the new basketball coach at the University of Kentucky. Now, again, that's rumor. We'll talk more about that here coming up in the next couple of minutes. I'm Leon Thomas with the Leon Thomas Group. You can learn more about us by going to my website, theleonthomasgroup.com. Email me. Let me know your thoughts. If this rumor of Mark Pope coming to Kentucky is true, email me. Let me know what you think about it. Leon at the Leon Thomas Group. Now, let's go through some of the names that were rumored. Dan Hurley from Kentucky. Why? Why would he leave Connecticut to go to Kentucky? What, what's in it for him to go to that from one semi-pressure cooker to another? Why? Why should he leave? Jay Wright. Why come out of that cushy gig with CBS Sports? To come back into the world of NIL, the transfer portal. That's rumor is that's one of the reasons he left because of that. Why go back into it? Okay, so some of you are thinking, do it because of the money. Do it because of the money. I don't have that type of money, but I can only imagine if you have 5 million, 10 million, whatever that number is, another million doesn't matter. I don't think these guys are doing it for the money. Scott Drew from Baylor, he took that program from nothing, took it from nothing and brought it to where it is. Why go in and why leave what he's built? It just doesn't doesn't make sense. Someone talked to me about Bill Self leaving Kansas. Bill Self's next move out of Kansas is in retirement. That's his next move. Tommy Lloyd from Arizona. Why? He had success at Gonzaga. He's having great success at Arizona. Again, why go in to where expectations are going to be crazy, crazy high all the time? Billy Donovan. Okay. He was an assistant coach there, went to Marshall, went to Florida. Great success there. But according to some coaches, some college coaches who've worked in the NBA, they say life for a coach is better in the NBA than it is in the college game. Why go back? It just didn't make sense. Now, the question is, is the hiring of Mark Pope, if this is true, is the hiring of Mark Pope going to be something like Billy Gillespie when he was brought in because nobody else wanted the job and he's just somebody there. Let me ask you this. How about Mick Cronin from UCLA? There was rumor that he was going to go up. Apparently he grew up 60 or 70 miles from there. He was on a show yesterday or today talking about the job. He didn't say no. He just said he turned left on Sunset Boulevard. Does that mean no? Where was where was he? How about Mick Cronin? Let me ask you this. Who else is out there that would want this job? Who else was out there? Who would want the Kentucky basketball job? How about Frank Vogel? Frank Vogel, head coach of the Phoenix Suns and former manager at Kentucky. He knows a little bit about what goes on there. He had a lot of success in the NBA, won a championship with the Lakers, so he understands pressure. How about him? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the right move is. Put your comments in. I'm going to stick around here for another couple of minutes. A lot of you are watching right now. It's 2.28 Eastern time. Look at all the excitement Kentucky basketball brings. People are up late at night listening, watching, paying attention to this Kentucky basketball situation. Whoever goes in has to remember this. 
they're going to have to have immediate big time success just the way Cal did. But the question is, can they maintain that success like Cal was not able to? Now, based on the expectations of other programs, Cal did a really, really good job. He had great success, right? But he came in early and had big time immediate success. Whoever that new coach is, that's going to be expected this time for them as well. Is Mark Pope the guy? Who else should be considered? Put in your comments. Let me see your comments here. We're going to be around for just a couple of more minutes. Put in your comments who should be the next Kentucky basketball coach. What names aren't being considered right now? And again, it's rumored that Mark Pope, former player at Kentucky, played for Rick Patino. Patino says he would be a good hire, an amazing hire. It's not his exact words, but something to that. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to stick in here for another 30 seconds. I'm waiting for your comments to come in. I want to know who do you think they should hire? Is Mark Pope a good hire? Who else is out there? Should they go and throw more money somewhere? Hey, let me ask you this. If they were really looking for the best basketball coach, how about Don Staley, women's coach at South Carolina? A lot of people consider her to be the best coach in America. How about someone else that might want to change in scenery? Gino Ariama, women's coach at Kentucky. Those are by many people. Many people say they are the best coaches in America. But again, why would they leave to go to that pressure cooker? where the expectations are final four every year, national championships, you better do it because if you don't, the fans, the administration, whoever else is just not happy with you. How many players does Kentucky have returning? How many are not entered into the portal? But that's going to happen anywhere. Cal said he met with his players yesterday and there were three in the room and all three of them are in the portal. It's a different world. It's college basketball is a different landscape. I'm Leon Thomas. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Check out my website, leonthomasgroup.com. And in the link, there's a link that's going to be going in on YouTube. We're starting a 24-hour news network, 24-hour radio, LTGN. Leon Thomas Group, nice network, news, information, and sports. Send me an email. Let me know what you think about the Kentucky basketball situation. I'm Leon Thomas.